Welcome back. In this screencast, we take a look at rotations, and rotations are what your middle school teacher may have referred to as turns. What do we mean by a rotation? Uh, so it's a turn about a center by a fixed angle. So what does that mean? Well, here's the coordinate grid again. Uh, let's take a look at this triangle. Uh, this will be triangle ABC, where B is 1, 1, and A is 1, 3, and C is 4, 1. And we're going to take this triangle, and we're going to rotate it by 90 degrees about the origin. Well, what does that mean? Uh, so the origin becomes the center of rotation. And so for each of the vertices of our triangle, we're going to connect to the origin. And then on a 90 degree angle, we're going to come out from the origin, 90 degrees, counterclockwise, positive 90 degrees is counterclockwise. And whatever this distance is, we're going to go that far, and that's going to be the image. So here's the point A. We're going to go to the origin. And then on a 90 degree angle coming out from the origin, this is a 90 degree angle. That right there is a prime. It's negative 3 comma 1. And then uh, here's C. We're going to go to the origin, which is the center of rotation. And then on a 90 degree angle, we're going to come out from the origin to right there. That's a 90 degree angle. We're going to come out just as far, whatever this distance is, this distance has to be, and this is the point negative 1, 4. And so we're going to get this triangle that looks like this, and it is the image of triangle ABC after a rotation by 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. Um, the same thing can be done if you stick your thumb on the origin, where this is drawn in the first quadrant. You stick your thumb on the origin and then just turn the page a quarter turn, uh, holding your thumb in place. You turn the page a quarter turn and you look for where A and B and C end up. And if you've done it right, if you've done a quarter turn, it should end up looking like this and then we just figure out where those coordinates are. So it is worth thinking for a moment about what the rule is that turns this into that, right? It's, the, it's worth thinking about that. Uh, how did these coordinates become those coordinates? If we rotate by 90 degrees about the origin, what does the point x, y become? It's worth thinking about. Yeah, that's that's how that goes. Uh, all of the x coordinates became y. We, yeah, all the x coordinates became y coordinates. All the y coordinates became x coordinates, but negative. And so it's an interesting thing for us to think about. Uh, 90 degrees is the easiest one for us to do in the coordinate plane, uh, which is where upper elementary and young middle school students uh, do this sort of thing. But you can rotate anything about any point at all. Um, it doesn't have to be in the coordinate grid. Uh, so, so consider uh, you got some, I don't know, heart and you want to rotate it about that point. Uh, let's rotate by, I don't know, 120 degrees counterclockwise about point P, there's P. 
So you can do this. It's not, I'm just going to move everybody so they're in a good spot. Uh, you can do this. It's not, not bad. You just pick uh, certain points that you like, and you draw to there, and then you construct a 120-degree angle, and it ends up there. You pick some point that you like, and you go to there, and then you 120 degree angle like so. And so you have some shape that looks like so. It's been turned a third of a turn holding P steady. You put your thumb on P, you turn the paper a third of a turn, and it's got to look something like that. Um, by far, the easiest rotation is the 180-degree rotation. Here's point P. Uh, you have some, I don't know, some object. And you want to rotate 180 degrees about P. Well, 180 degrees, that's a half turn. So we hold our thumb on P, we spin the paper around halfway, and it ends up, oh, that was terrible. I bumped the thing, and it comes over to here, like so. We measure 2P and through P equal distances on both sides. 180 degrees is a straight line. So for us, the process is always the same. We measure to the center of rotation and then the angle of rotation, and we go as far to the center of rotation as we do uh, to the image point. And we can do that with all points in any plane. So hopefully this gives you not just a conceptual understanding, but a procedural understanding of how rotations are done and I look forward to seeing you when we gather in class.